Hey naturalistas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to straighten your super short natural hair in three easy steps. So come with me into my shower. We're gonna start by thoroughly cleansing our hair. I'm starting off with an old wash and go. My hair isn't necessarily dry, but it's definitely covered in product. So I wanna make sure I get that all out. I'm gonna start by soaking my hair in warm water and I'm gonna go in with this shampoo right here is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo by Shea Moisture. And I'm just using a little bit I honestly don't use a whole lot of shampoo just in general, but this one has a really great lather to it and you don't need a lot of product to achieve it. So I make a point of really thoroughly scrubbing my scalp while I'm using shampoo. So you wanna make sure you do the same thing. Next I'm going in with some conditioner or should I say a lot of conditioner? <laughs> I always go OD with conditioner and I'm just gonna rub this into my hair um, and just make sure that I thoroughly rake it through. I'm using my fingers first to really make sure my hair abs absorbs all of this conditioner and then I'm also gonna go in with a comb to further evenly distribute this conditioner throughout every hair strand that I have and then I'm gonna put on a shower cap while I wash my body just to let the deep conditioner really soak into my hair strands. After I rinse that out, I'm going in with this leave-in conditioner. I love it, love it, because it makes your hair super silky. Like, I just spray this everywhere. And this is a leave-in conditioner that promotes shine. And since I'm gonna be straightening my hair, I definitely want anything that's gonna make it look shiny and healthy. So the next step is blow drying. My hair is still damp right here, which is a major key because with this product right here, which is a heat protectant, you want to apply it to damp hair, and especially because you're about to blow dry, you definitely don't want to put this on dry hair before blow drying your hair. So I'm just going to further make sure that this is evenly distributed by using a comb to rake it through my hair. So as a natural, you definitely want a blow dryer with a comb attachment and heat options. This one allows you to do cool air, warm air, or hot air. I'm using hot air on the highest blowing setting to do this blow dry. And I like working section by section. I'm just starting with this top section. You can honestly start with any section you want. And just make sure that section by section it's thoroughly dried and blown out. So that's basically all I'm doing here. I'm getting the front, back and everything in between. <laughs> and I really love a blowout because you can really see your length. It's so much fun. Like, look at this fro. My hair is definitely growing. So this is what your hair will look like after you blow dry it. And once again, with a comb attachment, it's just so easy. This takes all of like three minutes. So let's get into this tool right here. I randomly picked this up at Target with one day and was attracted mostly because of this little brush here. And I was like, as a natural, it is really, really important that if you're going to straighten your hair that you have something that will help to evenly distribute the heat and also kind of glide through your hair and detangle it as you go. And so that's why I picked up this tool and the first time I used it, I was like, it's magic. It's really cool because if you hold it down once, it spins in one direction. You click it twice really quick, it starts spinning in the other direction. And this is important. And I will show you why in just a second. So I'm sectioning off my hair in the front first. And I like doing my bang first. That's just where I start. I'm clamping back the other hair so it doesn't get mixed up in this. <laughs> and then I'm going to get this tool. I actually don't remember what it's called, but I'll leave all of the product information in my description box. So make sure you check that out. So as you can see, it's rolling in the direction that I am curling my hair. I don't want it spinning the other direction, like upwards as opposed to downwards. You always want to check to make sure that the barrel is spinning the right way. So that is really important if you go out and get this tool for yourself. But I really, really just, I cannot stress how I personally believe that this is the perfect heat styling tool for naturals because that brush, that hard bristled brush, I can never say that, that hard bristled brush that's attached on the other side really goes in and does the work that a comb would do. So a lot of people will use a flat iron and then chase it with a comb. With this, you don't have to because it's already detangling and making sure that each individual strand is straightened as you go. So it takes out that work and you only have to do one pass. Past. Like that's another thing that I love about this because it's so effective at evenly distributing the heat and making sure each hair strand is detangled and straightened in one pass. That's all you need. And you can see that your hair is already silky and shiny with one pass. Like it takes all of the work out of straightening natural hair, I think. And then especially for short natural hair, which I think it could be a little bit harder to straighten your hair. It just like, it does all the work for you. So I think this 
tool is perfect. I actually found it on sale on Target. I'm going to see if I can find the link for it for Amazon and Target and I'll leave both of those links down below in my description box if you want to go out and get this because I think it's great. So I like to straighten my hair in basically four quadrants. So the first quadrant would be the front section that you saw me do. Then I like to do, you know, my left side, then my right side, and then the back. And I like to work from the perimeter of my head, which would be like your edges and the nape of your neck to the center of my head within each quadrant. So within each of those quadrants or sections, that's just how I prefer to straighten my hair and kind of keep it organized and also make sure that I am straightening my hair in the right direction um, and so that everything flows. But I'll let you watch as I attack the rest of this fro right here. <laughs> Okay, so this last step is um, kind of a preference, but for me, it was definitely necessary to get sleeker edges because the barrel of that other tool is so big, I was so scared to get it close to my head because I was not trying to burn my forehead and my ears and stuff. So I'm going in with a smaller flat iron just to get the part. So just making sure my roots by the part were nice and straight and sleek. And I'm also going to use this smaller flat iron to get my edges as well because once again, the barrel on that other tool is huge and Every time I got it close to my face, I was like, I remember back in the day where I used to like have burn marks like on my ears and like your scalp is like hot and on fire because like you singed yourself and I didn't want any problems. So here we go. I'm just being a little bit more gentle and delicate with my scalp and my skin and using a finer tool. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of edge control as well to give myself that hair salon finish you know how they would go in and with like a little bit of gel or whatever it was I'm not sure what the product was at when they used to straighten your hair like I don't know if you're like me where you used to constantly straighten your natural hair because I definitely used to be that type of natural but they would go in with a little bit of gel just to kind of sleek out the look before you got out of the chair so that's what I'm doing right here I'm just using it really on my edges and then I'm going to lay everything down with a scarf because I really couldn't decide if I wanted to bang or have it mostly sleek, slicked back. And that's what I wanted ultimately was a more so sleek, slicked back look as opposed to making a bang. So this is the final look. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you can't go out in the rain with this because guess what? It will be jacked up. But this is the final look. Take care of it. It'll last a couple of days if you wrap it every night. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And also check out all of these other videos. I make tons and tons of short natural hair styling videos. So if you'd like to check those out, you can choose from here. And I'll also leave some in my description box. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.